Look at this R. It's pretty high. You would think it corresponds to a line. Left the points and check the plot. You can see honestly it's clearly not. This is the problem with correlation. Just one of a few limitations. It tells you if your relationship's strong or weak, but it ignores all other possibilities. It doesn't care if it's a function of longer read. It doesn't know. Oh, oh. R assumes it's linear. It ain't talker units and R won't care. Or at a constant, he won't even know it's there. You can just switch X and Y long as they're still paired. They won't know. Oh, oh. R is still oblivious. And it isn't resistant. So now you see what R is not. It isn't worried about explanatory or response. It needs our help. A second glance to see if any outliers might have influence. We might use R score to explain regression, but R just measures strength and direction. Make a comparison with and without our marks. Make sure the scatter plot looks vaguely linear. And if you change the direction, then change our sign, then further analyze and calculate our regression. You know why changes with some respect to X and just come up with a slope and Y intercept. And now our spread is a measure that my success just goes to show. Oh oh, we don't get very much from R. Now this is the na na part. Na 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 as long as we use an X inside our domain Remember slope is just the average rate of change So we just don't, oh, oh We just don't extrapolate Don't you think our walls are great?